All right, come on, come on. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? So we got our first video on the LBZ Duramax, so she's clean. We're gonna get right into doing the audio because I kept it out of my old truck because I don't really feel like selling my $2,000 audio setup, so yeah that's what we're working with so right off the rip we have the sony xav ax3200 or 3200 if you guys are interested in this i'm gonna go over this uh at the end of the video like once everything's installed i'll show you guys what's up with that we have a 4500 watt amp um we have all the wiring we're gonna need um this isn't necessarily a how-to video but i'm gonna show you guys exactly where i'm gonna wire it and where i'm gonna put everything um inside one of these trucks just in case you guys actually have one of these trucks in this with the same options and want to do that so what we're rocking for subs is going to be we got some kicker comp rts they're 12 inch subs um, this is a truck box uh, i did have to take this is a quad cab fully option truck so it has these little uh carpet things right here and we can't put this under the seat because we have seat brackets so what we're doing with this is we're going to be uh putting this right here unfortunately the subs are going to hit the back seat because we have no room but it's a truck you never have room for subs regardless but we're going to run all the wires we're going to start getting going on that thing we're going to start hooking up some power i'm going to give you guys an update once the head unit's in and we got some wires running down here um on exactly what we're doing but we're going to get this thing going and uh it should come out actually insane so i'll see you guys as soon as we start smacking this bad boy together so after a long time and um a dirty 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 diesel engine bay we got everything ran don't know if everything's gonna work because i'm not great at wiring and i don't know like it's more like the sub like positive and negative because the colors aren't red and black they're blue and white so but i'm gonna show you guys my setup in my extended cab so this is an extended cab of course amp is here um i got all my wires it looks like a rat's nest down there but don't worry about it i'll clean it up in a later day i just want to oh just kidding i want to figure it out before i do really anything but subs are here i had to take this panel off um my negative is right here i just sanded down some or for the amp so i just sanded down the um paint and put the whatever you want to call it the negative wire or the ground wire because that's what it really does but it's the black wire coming off the amp put it to the cab of the truck took all the trim off ran it down through here through all that trim i'm gonna vacuum all this stuff also but i ran my head unit wires up through this little gap in here uh you guys will see it it's kind of hard to explain because i can't i put some stuff back unfortunately but i don't really feel like taking them back out um, but yeah and then i also ran my sub boost like the knob um through another wire thing down here like i said it's not a tutorial it's kind of more like a baseline i'm also an entertainment channel so that's where that's coming from so um most things are not a tutorial like when i do the y bridge and the up pipe next week um it is not going to be a tutorial but it's going to be entertaining and it's going to be fixing the lbz so it's going to be clean but more or less i have everything hooked up Ugh. And I left everything out. Everything is plugged in. I have a st um, a plug and play wiring harness. Obviously, you guys are gonna have to custom wire stuff if you guys don't have that. But I have the harness for it because it came out of my old truck. So I have everything taken apart right now because I need to make sure everything works. So um, the positive or the power for the amp, I just ran through the firewall through that grommet and then put it into the alternator thingy. I don't know what that's exactly called, but. Um, the batteries aren't plugged right now i'm gonna plug everything in and see if it works so i'm gonna do that real quick and then get with you guys all right so first things first um head units on head unit is going good we got power back to the truck so i guess what we got to do now is play music all right so i'm already seeing that the steering wheel controls don't work i don't know if that's because the truck's not started or not what but so having a song played on CT40 is a game changer for anyone pursuing a career in country music. And it's why we... All right, so it's sounding like the subs are working as well. One, but two captains in the launch pad cockpit. And Cooper Allen is no stranger to the launch pad. The social media... All right, so the radio works. Everything seems like it's working besides the steering wheel controls. I'm probably going to have to mess with that. Um, because that really, really, really sucks. I... That's like a thing I use a lot, so... I don't know what could be doing that, but um, 
yeah, I'm gonna try to button everything up, make sure I didn't miss any wires. I'm gonna go find some wires, see if anything's different, and then uh, I'll get back to you guys, test out these subs, see what they sound like. All right, so I finally got everything working. Um, I just wanted to go over, before I show you guys the audio, um, I wanna go over every little thing um, really quickly. So um, the unit has Apple CarPlay, so it goes down through here, comes in here, goes through a little grommet um, for my Apple cord. Um, and my boost controller also goes through that grommet to right here. I'm gonna put that bezel in when I put the interior back together. But before I do that, we're gonna look at all the wiring in detail. So um, I pretty much run all the way down here, all the way down here. All the trim pieces are gonna cover that. The power for the, or the amp is going all the way over here. Also the communication wires and the, um, what, do you, what, what, do you, what do you call that? Um, you like, when you turn the key on, it turns the head unit on, okay? So, uh, and then I have that routing right back through there all the way to our amp, and our amp is chilling, and we are grounded to that. Our subs are here. Now, these are Kicker Comp RTs. Um, they're 12s, and they, if you take the trim piece out there, it fits perfectly in there, so if you guys are looking for a sub setup that you will never, ever, ever see, um, I made it work. You could probably get smaller boxes, but not as much boom and we're gonna be bumping with the old girl So um, 12s in a little box behind the seat of your crew cab. You are balling. Nobody is cooler than you So I'm also gonna take that little toolkit we got Shove it right up under that bad boy. Take our island key because we can't forget those. Hell yeah um, so yeah, now I'm going to put the entire interior back together for five hours and we're going to be good. But on side note, the LBZ's name is Jackie. So that is cool. Jackie, the fully loaded LBZ is a W. So we're going to get this thing going back together and we're going to throw some sound in here for you guys. All right. So I'll turn this down. I also got the steering wheel controls working. Uh, it's just one of those aux looking cords and it's got to be in the right spot. So. We figured that out, but everything is OEM, man. Never know anything's even in here. I'm lying, but I'll show you guys the only spot you can see back there. So right off the rip, uh, the music is gonna be corny. It needs to be non-copyrighted. I wanna hear some bass, so I look bass boosted, non-copyrighted, and every song is literal garbage. But we're gonna showcase everything to you guys. So um, right now, turn it up to... Right, so we're at 14. Brothers on the rise now. All right, so the audio, one thing about this truck is um, the left side's cooked. No audio on the left side. I, I, it's probably just speakers. I'm hoping to God because the tweeters up front work, but nothing in the back or the front. So I don't know what's up with that. We're going to have to figure that out. So right side is the only speaker. So the bass is literally louder than everything else right now. Um, we could probably extra bass off, get it going a little better, but... We'll turn it up to 12, just let you guys listen for a second. Uh, this is no bass boost on the head unit and zero gain on the knob, so. Alright, so for the bass drop, we'll uh, we'll crank it a little bit. This is with the seat closed. Sounds much better uh, with the seat not up, but. The seat's gonna touch the subs, it's probably gonna blow them, honestly. But what are you gonna do? Nothing I can do about it. There's nothing I can do to space that seat out a little bit either, so. Um, but this is what I was talking about with the line that you can see, but it's literally just one line, that's all you can see. Everything else is absolutely seamless. And she still bumps, so it's not bad. I need to fix the left side door speakers, but
Yeah, so I don't know how, how well you guys can hear, but um, it's absolutely nuts. So um, we're gonna get rid of that for now. And we're gonna start, no, I'm just kidding. Well, I won't play any music, but I still gotta show you guys a head unit because I said I would. So I don't remember what this thing's called, but I showed you the, hold on, we'll go. Well, I guess that's as bright as we're getting, but obviously you guys can see I have a custom wallpaper on here. You guys can put wallpapers on this thing. Um, you have a whole bunch of settings. Like you can, obviously you can do all your equalizers, like literally everything. You guys can also do extra bass. It's not recommended. It's not good for your subs, but I run it on one usually um, just so that they bump a little harder and I don't got to go back there and tune anything. But other than that, I mean, there's not much to show you guys. I mean, Apple CarPlay works. Apple CarPlay is Apple CarPlay. I mean, it looks like Apple CarPlay. I don't really want to plug my phone into it right now, but that's what it'll do. I mean, other than that, radio's chilling. All right, let's get out of there before we get in trouble. <laughs> but yeah, no, head unit is solid. Everything is now put together back to factory. Um, I'm probably gonna be lazy and leave my tools in here, but uh, whatever. Also, a little update, we ripped the trailer um, accessory out of here. Uh, I still have the unit. I still have the plug down there, but it's just tucked away because I'm not going to tow for a very long time. Even if I do, the only time I'd probably tow is either if I need to haul some equipment to the job, which I'm not seeing because we have a 5,500 Duramax over there, a little Kodiak action. Um, or my drift car when I get one, which is also not anytime soon. So with that being said, that thing is staying out of there, but more or less, uh, I'll probably give an update video when I figure out how to dampen this a little bit, get the seat a little more spaced because the subs touch the back of the seat and it just, it does not sound as good as it should, but it does make noise and everybody wants bass. Who doesn't want subs in their truck, right? Ew. Um, <laughs> But more or less, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys have any questions on specific things, you guys can ask me on Instagram, um, the Don.87. Same as TikTok and every other social media if you guys want to follow there because everything there gets updates way before YouTube. You guys won't even see this for three weeks. I've gotten the truck yesterday and you won't see this video for three weeks. So that's how YouTube works. But if you guys want to ask any questions, like I said, you can either comment them and I try to do my best to respond or you guys can hit me up on Instagram. But before we leave, this is my dream truck. This is my brand new picked up LBZ Duramax with the sunroof because we're baller like that, I guess. Um, yeah, and she functions, which is absolutely nuts. So this thing is actually pimp. We're gonna be building it. And right now we are getting go fast parts, up pipe, down pipes, um, Y bridge and charge pipes. So. There'll be that. I'm going to get it tuned right away because the delete with the tune, no tune. <laughs> but regardless, um, I traded a gas truck for this truck and we're balling. So if you guys want to see any more of this, subscribe to the channel. If you guys want to see any more updates on anything that has to do with that. Um, yeah, this is what we're rocking with. So with that being said, it's going to be the end of the video. If you guys want to follow me on any social medias, like I said, they are weeks ahead of YouTube. So... The Don.87 on everything that may or may not change in the future. Donnie LBZ is kind of crazy, but we're not going to be that guy. So this is going to be the end of the video, boys. I appreciate you guys watching. Any questions, let me know. But furthermore, see you in the next one.